All to hear you think, psychopath. Even when somebody gives you the best lecture of how not to kill somebody, you make up your own philosophy and you kill somebody. By the way, did anybody else think that the pe that the um, present Rogue looked a little bit like Zaref? I mean, the black hair, forever alone, always being depressed because death's happening around him. Maybe. Sorry guys for the messy hair, but it's like 12.30 right now, and I ain't doing this in the morning because I want to be like the one of the first people to do the review, but here are the highlights of this chapter. The dragons are ineffective to Dragon Slayer magic. Natsu fights Ru Future Rug with not fire, bl nor blue fire, hellfire. Not ordinary fire that you use gasoline and use three elements to ignite it. Hellfire, coming straight from the gates of hell. And he teams up with Atlas Flame. And number three, Lucy finds the um, journal from Future Lucy, which is sort of irrelevant. You only get like 10 seconds of Lucy in there. You got Nega Lucy in the last episode, but you get um, only 10 seconds of her. So, sorry guys. Rest in peace, this episode's fan service. But, let's get into this chapter, to this episode. So, in this episode, it was basically, sho it was basically showing how ineffective dragon slayer magic was people were fighting against the wrong dragon um dragon slayer magic is a joke because even though they were still fighting none of the dragons had a single scratch so you have loxus taking on atlas flame at first and the rajin shu also helping him because they're like they're a kiss ass up to um loxus and stuff but um they're they're helping him which that proves ineffective so Natsu's going to pounce onto Atlas Flame and he says, Hey, my name's Natsu and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat you. Honestly, I think it, it should be the like other way around. I mean, the dragon should say that, but whatever. I mean, it's all right with me. So he starts eating Atlas Flame's Hellfire. Notice it's not normal fire. It's Hellfire. So he eats Atlas Flame's Hellfire and then he's going like, um, just like Madara, he's going like, this feeling. There's no mistaking it. Igneal! It's him! And it, he remind it's Igneal's resemblance of when he was roaring or when he um, had fire. And Atlas Flame's going like, hmm, wait, boy, are you, are you, wait, what, what do you, what do you know about Igneal? And then not just going like, well, uh, wait, what, you have, you know what, who Igneal is too? And then Atlas Flame goes like, yeah. And then Natsu go like, oh yeah, Igneal's my dad, do you know him? And Atlas Flame go like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm his um, I'm his close friend. Your dad is the king of the dragons. Oh crap. So that would make Natsu a prince. That's awesome. So wow. That that that's awesome. So basically, Natsu is the prince of dragons. So if Igneal's dead, that was big oh, that makes him the king of the dragons. Which actually bumps what the king of Fiore said um later in the episode. So they team up and they fight against Future Rug and Mother Glare, and they're fighting and dragon against dragon. Mother Glare and Atlas Flame, those are the two dragons that actually put damage on each other. And then we zoom into King of Fiori, he's going like, person against person, dragons against dragons. What? A person fighting a dragon? What? Wait, there's no mistaking this. There's the, um, it's the festival of the King of the Dragons. It's no use. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Okay, you might want to calm down there. If you're gonna get any more traumatic, we need to put you in the Attack on Titan universe. Because Attack on Titan is going to be um, the only place that you can be with for traumatized people. But we also have a flashback of Altier and Melda. Um, they, they go to Natsu right after Future Lucy died, and the other people go to the um, gate. This is one hour earlier. And they're all going, um, Natsu's crying because future Lucy's dead, which is sort of Lucy in real life. And then Natsu is, um, they're all discussing about the, they're all discussing about Rug, um, all two years going like, so maybe if we kill the Rug in the present, the Rug in the future will go away, which makes a bunch of sense. And 
Mel just going like, well, you also have to worry about time paradoxes. And then Mel, and then Altier's going like, well, yeah, but if you think about it, future Lucy died, which means present Lucy's still alive, which there's no, there's a dis already disarray in that time, but maybe to even it around, it's an eye for an eye, which means we could kill the present Rogue, future Rogue would be gone, and the world's back together again. The end. Not to go like, no, I gotta kill future Rogue myself, man, man, this... This nigga just killed my girl. I can have this, so I don't care what you're about to do, but I'm about to go kill the person that killed my bae. All right? All right? All right. And Altier is going like, you don't give him the anger. Don't be so angry. No, no. I got to kill this guy. You killed my girl. So that's not actually what he said, but that's the black version of it, if you guys know what that is. But, yeah. And then Altier is going like, she's just standing there. Because Future Rook's fighting this dragon, and the dragon's going like, accept it. You, you can't beat me. I don't care if you're a dragon slayer. You can't beat me. And then Rook's going like, what are you? I have to beat you. And then at, at, at first at the beginning of the episode, I'm, st I'm still wondering, going like, what made Rook so corrupt? I mean, you already have Rook fighting God Geo, and there was that shadow that um, appeared. And then you have this freaking shadow that pe um, pops up on Rook's shadow, looking like a grown version of pride from full metal alchemist and it's going like this is another possible future you wanted to be king of the world right and it's sort of like sort of like the devil and that angel on the other side but the devil sort of has like the dominance so then he's going like something's going like no this can't be my future i can't accept it i won't allow it well he's not saying that but i can give a translation if you want but then altier is just standing going like all this stuff happened because of Rook. I don't care what you say, Natsu. I'm a, I'm gonna kill this guy. And then the ending goes. And that's all that happened in this episode. And yeah, hope you guys like this review. Do not forget to comment. Hit that like button like it stole something. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more anime. Sword Art Online plays in about 12 hours because, yeah, it's 12:34, so it'll play soon. And follow me yeah. on Twitter, that will be in the description. And until we meet again, see ya.